Hey y'all and good morning. What? It's Sunday and my eyes are watering. But I'm about to go out and do a little, it's not really DIY because it's already made, but I'm about to go paint. Years ago, um, my dad made this bookcase for me. When did he make it, honey? I'm asking Marvin because January of... January 10th, 86. January 10th, 1986. This bookcase, wah, came to be. My dad made it. And so I've had it, I've kept it all these years, but the, let me get where the light's better. The, needs to be painted again refresh that paint and also you what did we what did you say we had to do honey fill in the holes and stuff yeah i'm filling in the seams where back then <clears throat> now it's just the thing to do is make sure any uh corners are are filled in with uh caulking okay kind of like our house so I am not super good at projects. I'm more the idea person. I'm like, oh, we could do this or we could try that. And when I say we could, I thought of the idea and then normally Marvin does it. So it's kind of where this is evolving from because I'm like, I want this in my office again, not just out in the garage for random storage. So he said it needs to be like some of the, the things need to be filled in or something. Whatever he just said, that's what we're doing. So I'm gonna paint though the the shelves that go because those are all ready to go. He said, and I believe him. You might want to look at it. I've got what I think is the better side down. Okay. Right now. Okay. You might want to look at it. That way, uh, paint the bottom side first. <clears throat> and if there's any sticking or whatever. All right. So, like Marvin just said, he's considering that I'm just going to go with his, trust his judgment on that. That's the better side. That's fine with me. I'm not really wearing painting clothes, but it's the first delay in the project. The paint thing is messed up. You don't care how I paint because it's my thing, right? Yeah. I know you do that. Okay. Marvin is still hard at work and sweating as I am. But he's painting the inside of that. So I can put that in my office. He went over and touched up my job on the shelves this is just the bottom side of the shelf so we'll flip them over and paint those so i can put them up it's looking so good and my dad did this part so i'm not gonna paint over it i'll just figure out maybe i'll like do it and then just have to hand paint i left marvin outside and he is doing the um finishing up the painting Ooh, it's hot out he does a lot of work and he does a lot of work outside and it's hot outside we're in texas but i'm gonna need to call spectrum now because they're saying that perhaps my wi-fi signal in the house is weak and so um not acceptable because i'm literally sitting like the router is just like right there so <laughs> and i said when i'm at home the majority of the time i'm on this couch so don't know why it'd be a weak signal now i do use like it's she was showing me how to look at my phone and i was trying to pull it up and like see what's using it you go under settings and then you go under cellular and then you go um cellular data and uh under that thing and then you can see what is using like the most um the most data so there are some things that you know uh, that i would need to keep open but there are other things that i don't 
And it's like saying uninstalled apps are using data. So some apps that I've uninstalled over the last billing cycle have used 1.0 gigabytes of stuff. So there are other things on here like the JCPenney's. I don't need, I don't necessarily need to have that. Definitely do not need to have this. Um, this is a cameras uh, to the HOA that I used to manage. I don't need to have that on there. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go through here and just see the things that I can take off or at least shut down. And then it can ask me later like, hey, hey, do you want to put on the data? And I'll say, hey, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. So uh, anyway, that's what I'm doing. Oh, man, it was hot outside. Don't have any plans. And I was just talking to Marvin about plans for my birthday because that's tomorrow. Everybody take off work tomorrow. You know what I'm mean? saying? So I'm going to finish up my posts for the week today and tomorrow. And we were going to have everybody over for tacos, but then I'd have to clean up more. And then I'd have everybody over and then they'd be over. So I just kind of want to be able to go somewhere and then come home and not have to like clean up after, you know, we have company and not necessarily have to clean up before we have company. It's not bad, but I mean, I'd have to vacuum and I'd, you know, clear off the counters and stuff. What I think we're going to do is just go to a restaurant and have it like where we're just, we'll buy some apps like guacamole, queso, maybe some quesadillas or something. And then everybody buy their own drinks, whether like if they just want to drink water with lemon or just water cokes if they want whatever kind of coke they want and um or beverages adult beverages <laughs> i might want one because it's my birthday plus tomorrow i need to go to kendra scott because i want to get another pair of earrings for my birthday discount you get 50 percent off so i want to kind of go do that and then what else I get like, oh, like I get that free bumplet. I get um, some other free stuff. So I'm, I'm probably gonna wanna do that tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to get as much stuff done tonight and today as I possibly can. And then that way I'll have tomorrow freed up to uh, go do some running around. But, and prepare for the coming week because I like to do that. It makes me feel a little bit more focused, a little bit more better. Cause we only have like a four day work week this week which technically I don't ever have to go into the office, but I like to. So uh, this week we'll just be in the office for four days. And then it's like summer. I mean, like for me, summer kind of kicks off with the Memorial Day weekend in a way. But because uh, my birthdays around this time, it's just in my mind. That's just how it's always been. So I don't know about y'all. What do y'all think? I know that summer doesn't start to like June something or the other. But I'm, I just feel like it's summer and I'm ready for it. I'm okay with that. I'm not mad about it and all the other trendy stuff people say. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys go for now. I'll be back in a little bit after I've done a little bit more work. Going to do another edition of making dinner with every plate. Just put my phone down. And um, tonight's meal is going to be creamy chicken bake. The card does say that it's going to take 10 minute prep time and be ready in 45 minutes. You know, with the first two meals, I've not had any luck coming really even close to that time, but we'll see today because I do have my trusty helper over there. And he says his back hurts now. There's no lifting, honey. There's just, there's no lifting. Your arms hurt now. Okay, his arm hurts now. So we're going to preheat the oven, we're going to do all the prep, we're going to have a nice meal, and then have a salad. I'm going to have a salad with mine. And you've got a little bit of salad left. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Do you want me to run to the store? Do you want me to grow some lettuce really quick? And we got grass growing We do have backyard. grass growing in the backyard. Look, a juice box. That's, what is that? 2% milk. Milk. I guess that's part of the recipe. Yes, because we did need to have, what you'll need is flour, which we have, butter, which we also have, and olive oil, which we do not have. So, remember, okay, so Martha just did that, but here's the deal. We were at a Texas Rangers game, and 
generously given tickets by my broker. And the guy sitting next to us brought his kid. Why did, oh, oh, we had four tickets and we gave two at the gate. The person at the gate gave them to this father and son. Real cute little kid. And um, they were having a grand time, but he brought, he brought a bell pepper and then just Sliced like. Up. <clears throat> no, it was like this. He was eating it like oh, an yeah, apple. Okay. He was eating it like an apple, like, no. Although, I mean, I do like bell pepper. So anyway, we're gonna see how this goes and hopefully it won't take us that long to make. Right now it's 3.45. So, wait, that says 3.45 and that says 3.35. It's 3.35. What no. does that say? <clears throat> oh, that's the time left on there? Okay, so it's 3.35 or so around there. So we'll see how long it takes us to get from right now to the finished product. Isn't he handsome? My hands are clean. Just a quick check in. It is four o'clock now, and we're still on step one. So, how are we doing so far, honey? Good. He says we're doing good, so I believe him. Fun fact Marvin said there's two teaspoons in a tablespoon. When I Googled it, it said there's three. So, if this recipe messed up, it's all on him. It's all that one, that missing teaspoon. That is a teaspoon and a half. That's a teaspoon and a half? Mm -hmm. It's a teaspoon to one of the, it's got two, it has two grooves. Okay. So the first groove is a teaspoon. If you go all the way to the top, it's a teaspoon and a half. So there, I prevail. You're the winner, winner, chicken dinner. You're the winner, winner. Creamy baked chicken dinner. I also got clarification on the drizzle per the every plate instructions. It says a drizzle of oil. This means we want you to add enough oil to your pan for or on top of vegetables before roasting to achieve even cooking and browning. A large Z shape or a light two second pour should do the trick. Okay, it's all finished and in record time, we finished at like 5.05. Let's just say 5.05. So maybe five o'clock. Um, so five o'clock, 3.30 to 4.30. It's an hour and 25 minutes for something that was supposed to take maybe 45, maybe 55. So not a professional cook and I'm not professional like how much is that? When do we do this? You chop that? What? So anyway, here's how it looks. We finished in about an hour and 25 minutes and it looks and smells amazing. Now we're gonna test it out and see if it tastes amazing. But a little more than the, see when it says ready in 45 minutes, is that including the prep time or is the prep time plus then it's ready in 45 minutes? Like once you start doing stuff, I don't know. So anyway, it's ready now. So now I am just prepping post for wing moms because like I said, I'm trying to get all that done today. If I can, I have until, I mean, I'm getting it done tomorrow too, but I'm trying to get it all done today. So that way I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, I'm getting myself some candy kisses. Don't judge me, don't at me either. So um, he's doing that. I'm ready for him to come back in. Darn it come back inside so that we can watch a movie together or something like that. I think that would be fun. But um, he likes doing that kind of stuff and it needed to be done and I like it being done too. So I'll just be patient. And now I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because because I am, that's why. <laughs> I don't have to explain myself. No, I'm just kidding. I just think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because I think the only thing that's gonna be happening tonight, barring some major surprise, hold on. Um, horrible angle. Putting something away. Barring some, whoa. Okay. Barring some major surprise. If I fall, y'all, I don't imagine anything else of interest will be happening tonight because I'm just going to be working on wing moms. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. 
Oh, I'll show you, I'll show you one exciting thing. So right over there, there, that part of the area where that junk now sits, that's where the bookcase is going. So once I put up the bookcase, I'm gonna get a few other things. I'm gonna try to map out what I want each area to look like so I can start finishing the areas. Because as it stands right now, I nothing's finished or nothing feels finished. So like for example, there's no art over here, there's no decor on there. There, the fireplace mantle, nothing on the fireplace mantle. There's, the front porch is not done. This is not done. I want some more pillows for in here and I want stuff put away. So knowing all that, I think I'm gonna start sketching out some ideas for each of the spaces and just like focusing on one of the spaces, but having some sketches for the rest of the spaces. So in case I come across like a really good deal or something like that, I can snatch it up. Like if I see it at a thrift sale, or an estate sale or a you know, thrift store or something like that. Anyway, that's my idea. But of course, I need to get this wing mom stuff done first because that is kind of a priority because that's, that's one of the things I do for a living. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Like I said, I hope you guys are having an amazing day, an amazing weekend, amazing hour whenever you're watching this. Don't forget to be kind to others and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.